Show next week. 12 minutes after 8, Charlie and Boots, new Australian film out in cinemas September 3. Co-starring Shane Jacobson, of course, played Kenny and the legend himself, Crocod- Mr Crocodile Dundee, Paul Hogan. Well, the pair of them make a great team and they popped in to see us yesterday. Good morning, lads. Guys, two iconic Australians in the, in the same film. No, I'm no, talking yeah. about you, Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> and Shane as well, yourself too. Now, Shane, would it... Would it be fair to say that you would have been a little bit starstruck or even taken back a little bit to be invited to be in a film with Paul Hogan? Yeah, you could use the word a lot, starstruck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like all of us, you know, especially if you, if you enjoy comedy. And even if you don't enjoy comedy, you enjoy Paul Hogan. Mm-hmm. So I know I spent my life watching him and kind of going, you know, that's a funny man. You know, it'd be great to meet him one day, but I never thought I'd be making a film with him. You know, it cost me a lot of money to get him to say yes, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> <laughs> got him around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how did the process come about, Hogs? How did, was, how did you end up working was... with Shane? The movie was cast before it was written because uh, Dean Murphy, who's the writer-director, and he did Strange Bedfellows and he's got a wonderful sense of humour. We met, instantly liked each other, and uh, Dean said, would you two do a movie together? And we said, oh, yeah, we're in. And thank God it turned out fabulous Uh, because if it come back rubbish, I don't know what we're going to (laughs) do. Well, you guys would have both been involved in films like that before. Would they have been cast before they have been written? No? No. Nah, oh, only mine because oh, I cast myself and then I write it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you on the radio the other day saying that you, you don't believe you're an actor. We can all act. Yeah. Little kids can act. You know, it's not that precious a craft, I don't think. Some do it better than others. But I always thought of myself as a comedy writer Yeah. who was lucky enough to do his own material. But I never ever thought, I, never, I didn't see myself playing um, Andronicus or King Lear or... Even Electra. I <laughs> 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 laugh. Um, you know. On the set of uh, Charlie and Boots, are you guys we ad libbing much and working together in improving? All the time, but it never made the, never made the film. Never right. That's <laughs> <laughs> all on the cutting yeah. room floor. Yeah. What is normally the great stuff about a film has been cut out and it's gone back to where the plan was. Well, the script was good enough to stick yeah. with, but yeah. there, but there were certainly times that we kind of you know th- there was someone screaming cut repetitively and we kept yeah. going. But, <laughs> but we were doing our stuff and it was sort of. Played against the characters. Because so. I was, th- I was yeah, thinking- they had problems because you know, we, you know, we're out there having a great time and carrying on like a bunch of clowns, and they're going, "Look, it is a funeral scene, gentlemen." <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, good point. All right. Because there is a great scene in the film, which I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but it, it's, it does involve bull riding with something as unpredictable as as livestock. There must have been room uh, of the unknown and the in, the impro in that part. Yeah, and then add into that 43.5 degree heat <laughs> in the shade, yeah. as in literally they filmed a thermometer in the shade. And they had us in the middle of a, a you know, of a sand covered bullfighting ring. Mm-hmm. And they decided the best thing for me to wear in that kind of heat was jeans, black chaps, <laughs> yeah, well, which yeah. were mine. I had them on anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or, as I like to call them, my pajamas. Yeah. And, 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 the thi- and this know black where the top that was. Came from. We <laughs> <laughs> and a black shirt that was thicker than my head. And then they had a, a, a protective leather vest and a hat. And, uh, and then said, go out there and run around with a bull. I'd rather try and sleep with a crocodile than do that. Yeah, yeah, I, he wasn't afraid of the bull at all. It's, after I tossed him and I had to run out and grab him, and there's no stunt doubles from there on. And the bull was nuts and it was chasing us. And I said, look, when we get out there, I said, you know, I'm, I'm pretty quick off the mark and, you know, you're a big lump for bloke, so, you know, I'll grab your arm and I'll, I won't go flat out so that I don't pull you over. <laughs> and we went out there and I grabbed his arm and the bull... Took over some, whoosh, he took off and I was sort of hanging on him. <laughs> I was running to my trailer to get to the air conditioner yeah. <laughs> and someone said there was some food in my trailer. Yeah. No, but to get the bull wild, I just whispered in his ear, I had about five of you a year. <laughs> <laughs> How many of me do you eat? <laughs> <laughs> no. I've eaten half of your cousins and your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Funny men Shane Jacobson and Paul Hogan will continue the chat with them about their new film, Charlie and Boots, in a second here at Nova 969.